I have just finished a long weekend photographing the colors of fall in Japan's ancient capital of Kyoto. If you've not already checked out these episodes, I encourage you to do so. I was able to add some iconic photos to my portfolio and enjoy the food and hospitality of the people of Kyoto. Tonight, I'm going to take advantage of the views outside my room at the Yokohama Bay Sheraton Hotel. The area outside my room is a bus terminal with a lot of very vibrant lights. It is going to make some great long exposures. Hey everybody, I'm Jason Yoder and welcome to Explore with Jason. This is where I share with you my photography and all the travel and adventures I have in getting my images. And tonight we're going to learn how to use a flexible lens hood so we can capture amazing scenes like what's outside my hotel room here in Yokohama, Japan. So sorry guys, I'm dressed down just a little bit. I have been in my uniform working all day. Uh, so what I'm doing right now is I'm kind of catching up from the weekend. If you guys have been following along, you know I've been in Kyoto, Japan shooting a lot of episodes for you guys and uh, just finished up a day of work in Yokosuka and now I'm just trying to wind down a little bit but I thought I'd take an opportunity to photograph outside of my window. This is what it looks like. So it's a very colorful environment out there. There's a lot going on. Now I'm not doing this for stock photography purposes because there's way too many advertisements that are out there but I did it so that I can try this little device out here which is a lens hood. So this is not a rigid lens hood and the really cool thing is it allows me to press it up against the window with different angles of the camera. Now truth be told I actually bought this about a year and a half ago in anticipation of coming here to Yokohama. Uh, there's a large building I'm hoping to have time to get to. It's called the Yokohama Tower. It's got a great observation deck but the problem is is when you're shooting through glass like this, even if I turn off all the lights in this room, the light coming out is going to reflect off the curtains or off me and you're going to see reflections in the window. This is going to help significantly reduce the amount of reflections that we see. So let's go ahead and get this thing set up. Now I am trying out the Canon RF 24-70 lens for this particular trip. Uh, rented this lens so I can get an idea of what, uh, you know, whether or not I want to purchase this lens or not. Now one thing I did notice, I left on my circular polarizer from uh, all of the uh, landscape photography I did at the fall colors this past weekend. So I'm going to go ahead and take that off and set it down here. All right, now to put this on, because this is a flexible lens hood, there's really no shape to it. There's nothing screwing you to simply put the rubber seal over your lens. And there we go. We are set to go. Now I've got my tripod mounted over here really far against the window so I can put the camera up on it. And that's going to press this flexible lens hood against the window and allow me to also maneuver the camera around and get the composition so I want. I'm hoping to do here is to do a panoramic image using the lens hood. So to do panoramas you do have to take full control over everything in the camera, the white balance, the shutter, the uh, aperture, the ISO, and of course the focus as well. So if you guys want to uh, hear one of these sides, I'm going to put a link to an episode about how I uh, do my panoramas so that you guys have a better idea of how I create these in Lightroom. But I've got to capture some images to do that, so let me go ahead and set this up. So I have my camera set up in the position that I use to do my panels, which is a vertical position. If you look here, I do have the ability to move it around and that flexible lens hood is adjusting its shape. So I can create my panoramic images. Now again, down here, there's a lot of advertisements. So this is really not for stock this time around. It could be if I do some editing, we'll see kind of what it looks like. But because it's also dark, I'm going to be able to do long exposures, get lots of streaks of the cars running through here. So I'll do it first as a panel, then as a normal image, just in case the panels don't turn out all that well. So let's go ahead and start capturing this. 
not too bad. I do have some glare on the fringes of the image. There are light streaks on the ground from a few moving vehicles, but not enough for me. All right, so the first attempt had only two seconds shutter speed. The cars really are not moving all that fast down here. It is a bus stop. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna close down the aperture and I'm gonna do it again with a much longer exposure. Much better on the light streaks, but I did get some glare. I was not paying close enough attention while I had the camera turned to the left and I did not hold the flexible hood against the window. My bad. So a few things here. I did turn off the lights in the room because when I had the camera really turned, the seal was having a little bit of trouble I was staying connected with the window. So now that I had lights turn off, but I also put my, took my finger and pressed in on the seal against the window and had it and just pressed hard so my finger wouldn't move and then uh, hit the shutter and just held it there uh, while I was doing its, uh, taking its, its exposure. Now here's a super panel I attempted. Now unfortunately my tripod's got so many different angles on it, it kind of kept readjusting itself, but a super panel is when I go across multiple times. You know, scan, a little higher, a little higher. This is what it looks like. Unfortunately, I did not get enough of the bottom of this image when I was doing the panel and it got cropped. Also, I needed to pull the curtains back further because of the wider angle that I went. This long exposure picked up the glare caused by them, even though the lens hood was on. It's funny how the properties of light works. Well, that is it for tonight and my final first attempt to really be able to use my flexible lens hood. This thing really can compact itself down for travel or stay flat. Um, Hoping to get to use it in the uh, Yokohama Tower, we'll see, but my time here is getting very limited right now, and still a lot of work to, has to be done before I can really go outside and play. But hopefully I'll be able to try this one more time here in Yokohama. If not, perhaps a little bit later on next year in Chicago, we'll try and take it up, uh, one of the skyscrapers there, and give it a try. Hit the subscribe button, give this video a thumbs up, if you'd like to support this channel further, check out patreon.com forward slash EWJ to see all of my bonus content. And also, if you can, consider opening your hearts and your home to a shelter animal need. And if you can't, please donate to your local animal shelter. Take care, and I'll see you on the next episode.